this uh, starting off, just what, what were your biggest takeaways from this game? Uh, too many and ones, too many second chance points, too many free throws, and got to handle their physicality and res better. Was there anything in particular that, that you've seen, like with the offensive rebounds? I know you called a couple timeouts when they got a couple quick off offensive rebounds. Was there anything that you noticed in particular that they were doing? No, they just outworked us. Uh, just, you know, more poise and patience, uh, trying to not put him in too many different spots. Uh, tonight, he was less of a screener, more ISO post uh, interior, um, you know, on the perimeter. I think just his poise and patience, just seeing the defense, finding the small cracks to still be aggressive and get deeper on his drives. I think that's one of the biggest things. Um, obviously, teams are swarming him. Um, you know, they're, they're going to collapse on him. I think he had a couple turnovers, one, you know, in the first half, one in the second half, you know, where there was late activity. Just got to keep reading those better. But when he's got those windows of opportunity, he can get his shoulder on a guy and get deep and get on two feet and balanced. He's really converting at a really good rate, whether he's going left or right. Um, just really impressed with the work that he's been putting in, understanding what defenses are doing against him, but also understanding just how he's just, you know, with his balance and the angles that he's taken, how that's paying off for him. How does he become consistent? Not that you expect 40 a night, but how, do, how does he become a guy who, you know, is a consistent, you know, uh, elite scorer for his for his position. Yeah, I mean, uh, the biggest thing is trusting the work that he's putting in. I think he's made a lot of headway this year. Obviously, we've leaned on him and Dez a lot early in the, in the season. As we get job back, other guys, you know, the, the usage rate will change, but that's on me to continue making sure that I'm putting him in the right spots and having that, you know, healthy balance and, um, you know, using him in pick and rolls, using him in these post-ISO situations, you know, making the play calls, but also some of the times it's just organic, whether he's out on the wing, whether he's coming in the trailer spot, uh, his teammates are also setting him up, so hopefully they're continuing to build confidence in, you know, finding just natural spots for him to be in attack mode. Um, but the biggest thing is just the reads that he's making and then just the balance of which he's playing on. Combine that with the force, he's able to get to a lot of, you know, uh, ad advantageous spots on the floor and convert at a pretty high rate right now. And, you know, obviously with that physical nature, getting to the free throw line has definitely been be beneficial for us, um, you know, and I'm glad he's getting rewarded for it. What do you see from Vince Williams in, in terms of, you know, making a case that, hey, I need to be getting consistent minutes. I need to be a rotation player kind of uh, to, to stay. I just love uh, Vince's competitive drive. Um, he's been really dialed in on game plans, uh, personnel tendencies. Uh, he's making the most of his opportunity. He's put in a lot of work. Um, you know, was playing in the G League a lot last year. It was playing in play groups until this opportunity came recently. But, you know, he knew what his opportunity was going to be is setting a tone defensively, picking up full court, uh, trying to blow things up denying guys going over with physicality you know he's just going to continue to get better game to game but I'm developing a lot of trust in just the tenacity he plays with and the discipline that he plays with so um, the fact that he's embracing the ability to guard on ball you know go and get seven defensive rebounds and then offensively just let the game come to him be a connector out there and then you know shoot it with confidence with a three-point line um, is stuff that he and I talked about you know at the beginning of the year and, and now that this opportunity is here I think he's doing a really good job of that game in and game out. Tonight, guys like Jake Laravia, Zaire got more opportunities, whereas, you know, X uh, got a DMP today and uh, Santi didn't play as much as we used to him seeing. Just what went into the decision process to kind of give those guys more of an opportunity and, you know, less minutes for Santi and X? Yeah, I mean, part of it was going into the game. I wanted to get a couple of different guys, obviously, with Dez out. You know, wanted to, you know, make sure we got opportunities now that Jake is, um, you know, back after the thing that happened with his eye. Uh, he's been great in his play groups. Um, you know, Zaire, I thought, was good the other night. You know, um, he had been out of the rotation. So just kind of reward those guys. Um, I think there was opportunity that presented itself. So I kind of leaned on them. Um, you know, also, you know, credit to Jalen. You know, this is the end of his second 10 day. He's done a good job, but kind of wanted to lean on uh, those guys in particular, Z and Jake, and just kind of read the game. You you know, Santi didn't think he had his best stuff maybe in the second half. Um, just wanted to kind of lead on some guard play. And, you know, unfortunately, you know, a lot of those guys, you know, we got good looks. We just couldn't convert, you know, against, um, you know, their swarming act active defense, physical defense. Uh, but just want to give these guys a shot because I've, I've liked what I've seen uh, in the preparation the last couple of days with those two guys. Great. Thanks, everybody. <clears throat>